Hello everyone, welcome back to Spyro 2 Richard Rage. We are here, right where we left off. I just came back from the dentist, and my mouth is asleep. Anyway, as you can see, we got everything we could possibly get. So the only thing left is when is to fight Riftail, which is a bitch. This this boss is hard. He it's very hard to dodge his attacks. You'll see. He has three forms, and like, I'm just gonna probably talk over the first one, then I'm gonna start getting to when I hit him, you know. Ah, come back here, you useless animals! Hey, Shorty! Maybe I can help. What? You again? Yep. If you wanna test that power crystal, why don't you try it on me? I'll stand still, I promise. Hmm. I like that idea. And I don't. Dragon, you've just sealed your fate! Shit. Okay. Spyro, we want to help you fight Ripto. Elora is using the orbs you collected to store power up energy. Hunter will throw the powered up orbs to you as they become ready. Even as we speak, the professor is experimenting with new forms of power-up energy, so you'll soon have abilities that no one has ever seen before. Uh, that's the problem. Here's the problem. If you look down there... Oh, crap. Ah, so hard to avoid. Shit! Shit! So hard to avoid. If you look down there, he can grab them too. Now, the reality is his attacks are actually easier to avoid but try to hit him multiple times it makes this fight a lot easier and oh shit and hunter will you little bitch Alright, we hit him three times there. Oh, God. I just want this ship! He's gonna grab that. No chance in hell what. I trust nobody. He has three attacks. If he grabs... I don't know what he does if he grabs three... If he grabs the last one, it's a blue one. But... As far as I know, he has three attacks, one for each... One for each color of orb. This is the red one. It's this shockwave. It's easy to avoid. The, and... I got cocky. And this is our green attack. It's a bomb, this, the red one is a fireball, and the last one is a electric, is, is the supercharger. Now he'll do the same here, except now we have, he'll go directly, he'll, most of the time he'll, won't give a damn about you as long as there's an R on the floor. I think that the best thing you can do is cut him off, and try to hit him multiple times, this is a very, Hard fight. And right now, ah, got it, bitch. Mine. And he will still go for you. Where's the ship? Ship. Oh crap. And you can, can grab it when it's in there. That's another thing. Now I'm, I'm just gonna cut it when I, I start getting these orbs. The right attack is actually kinda easy to skip. To avoid. Shit. Oh 
Oh, we just need one more. Yes, we did it. Now for the last form. The last form is arguably the easier. But try to have at least one spark. The green sparks, if you can, to this. Now we'll fly. And this song, uh, I meant to talk about it. This song is kind of ridiculous. I don't think it fits this fight at all. But that's just me. Anyway, here's what we have to do. We have to hit him as he's flying. And we have to avoid his attacks. Just... You can just... Spam your attack, and it will work. Eventually, oh crap! Eventually, he's going to start doing this. He'll try to, he'll stop and go in your direction. And this actually makes it easier for you to hit him, believe it or not. And now he'll start to go around like so. And as you can see, they've recovered my sparks for this section of the fight. And as you can see, this wasn't hard at all, this last form. And we won! We won! Even though I said this fight was horrible, it's it's a hard fight. I won't lie, a hard fight. I'll shut up so you guys can watch the cutscene. Rito defeated! Yay! you enough Spyro I suppose you have to go now yeah I'd better they'll be missing me in the dragon worlds and I've still got a vacation to take I need it more than ever now before you go I think that money bags has something he wants to give you hmm. I most certainly do not hunter this good huh? Spyro, Moneybags is very sorry that he made you pay so much on your way through Avalar. We want you to keep the gems as a reward for helping us. Wow, thanks. Sparks, can you grab them? Let me just type in the new coordinates and... There! Spyro, you can now go to Dragon Shores. Hey, why don't you guys come with me? I bet you could use a holiday. I'm afraid we can't, Spyro. Ripto may be gone, but he caused a lot of damage during his short stay. We'll be cleaning up for weeks. Just remember, though, that you can always get back to Avalar from Dragon Shores if you want to visit. Well, okay. Come on, Sparks. We've got a lot of vacation to catch up on. And to Dragon Shores we go! Uh, it's... I think I will save Dragon Shards for the next episode, along with the skill points, because in case you don't know... And this song again is so good. In case you don't know, skill points are... There are 16 skill points in this game. I think there are skill points in this... The, the, in Year of the Dragon 2. Basically, you have to do things in certain levels. Uh, get a life, uh, get us a life, and if we unlock them all... We get something... Something else. We get a cool thing at the end. And the thing is, I left to do this, to do that now, because actually we got one skill point. We got the one to destroy all the windmills. And Colossus? No, no. I, I forgot the name of the level. But anyway, there's a small windmill that we have to destroy, and we did it. So yeah, I think I'll leave that so we can finish this. I'll be at the end of the week, and then the next week I'll I'll get all, I'll, I'll get a, a week off so I can prepare for my next LPs. Yeah, but this is fun. This is a fun game, uh, and it's my favorite on, of the Spyro series. I'm, I realized they made Spyro uh, Spyro games for the PS2 and the PS3, but honestly, uh, those those get a lot of bad rap. And they do seem to have changed a lot of of the game game's mechanics. It seems a lot more action oriented, and I, I don't know. They don't seem, they don't seem to appeal to me at all, even though I haven't played them. But yes, it's it's a thing. 
Now we'll be getting something in Dragon Shards that will make getting skill points a lot easier too. This is a fun OP. We have... We have two new subscribers actually since then, but I forgot again to get their names. I'll say them their names in the next video. Remember! Make me remember, guys. And... Welcome to these two new subscribers. I hope you guys enjoy your stay and enjoy my videos. Another thing I'm glad that they they kept was this song because this is my favorite song and inspire. I don't think you'll listen to this song anytime during the game except for the credits. This is the credit song from the first game in case you don't know. But yeah, I really I really like this song. Another thing, I'm just about finishing up. Oh, what's what's it? Thing, uh, uh, community. I'm just about finishing watching Community, and I heard that uh, the creator of the series left, which is kind of sad. We can't do much about that. Stuart Copeland, you're awesome. And, and that ending song is so weird. There's that chorus on the back and it's it doesn't fit the fight at all with Rift I, I think. It's kinda weird. But but I don't really pay attention to that oh, very much. Melissa Disney? Someone's last name is I wonder if she's related to the Disney guy. I don't think his last name is Disney though, I, I, I don't remember. Yeah, a lot of them lies in my street too. And Dragon Shars, would you look at that? So today's Tuesday, if I release Dragon Shars on... Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll release Dragon Shards on the next episode, which is Wednesday. Let's just talk to this guy. Well done, Spyro. Step right on into Dragon Shores Park. If you look at, at the guy, it's Niles with a G. That's because By most the way, of the guys... If you win sorry. 10 tokens, you can visit our theater. Okay. Most of the guys that worked for Nark in the first game are now working in Dragon Shards. Which is fun. So let's see. On the next episode, we'll be doing Dragon Shards. And I'll see you guys there on the flip side. Bye!